Number 43. Why don't you sometimes try, cried the poet to the painter, totally turned off by the silence of painting. Why don't you sometime try and see what you can do to break out of it? Just try to show with your dumb brush. Just try to show with your mute eye how the earth trembles as lovers after loving echo like bells. I don't know who wrote all these. <laughs> This is a paint box I had in Paris. It's still going. Where's the top? The here it is. Paris, 1950. That was actually your palette. <laughs> yep, sure was. I haven't used this since those days. Where is your palette? Uh, the palette you use now. Well, it's it's here. How did you learn to work? Oh, I was studying uh, all the people walking by on the street. I don't remember doing any serious studying in Paris. This is 98. It's called the Undiscovered Country. You might as well go through all of them, right? This one's called Victory at Sea. Now, this is... Uh, Mother Russia. This is photo offset again. It's a silk screen. Now this one is called Last Exit. You ever see it? Cascuta Tutel. The crunchies at any time. Uh, munchies. <laughs> what I found. Are you happen to be thirsty? Abandon all despair. Number 46 from uh, A Far Rockway of the Heart. And every poem and every picture, a sensation in the eye and heart. Something that jolts you awake from the rapt sleep of living. In a flash of pure epiphany, where all stands still in a diamond light, transfixed, revealed for what it truly is in all its mystery. So a bird is an animal flown into a tree, singing inscrutable melodies. As a lover stands transparent, screened against the sun, smiling darkly in the blinding light. 